Alrighty, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to some more Arabian Adventures oh, in Crusader Kings 3. Uh, just before I started, yeah. I had to get this woman in my court. Uh, just before I started this video, seeing how my dumbass grandson is trying to bury her. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to break the betrothal. And I'm going to set you up. I'm going to set you up. Let me see. I could probably. Where, is my daughter in here? This is going to be blasphemous. I can make you very. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he's like trying to marry someone on his own. His choice was meh. He's only gonna marry his like um, bloody court. Hmm. This is so because this will buy me some time. Yeah, you can marry uh my knight. Call it fair trade off. Charismatic negotiator boy, you are now a man. As a man, you have to uh, accept some betrothals for the love of Allah. Please, just accept my daughter. She's a gluttonous little thing. Hmm. And the magnificent book about books. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly the type of thing that we need. Hmm. Replace this with this one. This help boost up our learning. Looks like uh realm is still quite stable. Yeah, that dude Glad I'm actually out of their nonsense. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. Okay, yes, I have everything solid. What I want you to do instead focus on. Um, I guess you could focus on just training the commanders right now yeah, down here is it's kind of crap Ajaran is looking more and more like they're trying to threaten me like, absolutely And let me fix this over. Oh, I'm gonna die within a year. You hear that, boy? You're about to be a man. Oh, and then my grandson, he's amazing. When it comes to this, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll set this up. Well, I'm about to kick the bucket. Oh, I can found a holy order. I guess I could like establish a holy order right here. 
Should I? Uh, I'll do that. He gains the Valley attribute. You inherit it. I right, gotta seek a worthy successor. All right. Grandmaster the Sea has found a Haria. All right, sorry, wife. Hey, I hope you you guys probably heard it, but I'm about to pass on into legend soon. So I'm gonna snag up some gold wherever I see. It's fine if you guys don't have the full amount. Because of the Sultana. And be all this gold. I'm gonna save up the money. Grab all that, and oh, we didn't we didn't find a successor yet. You guys have been locked up in my prison for quite some time. You guys are just gonna melt in there. I don't know, I'll, I'll let that uh, take some time to build up. The spouse of my son uh, passed away. What? She was killed in a storm at sea. God. Uh, yes, may she rest in peace. Uh, followed by crows. Oh yeah, that magical thing. We gotta, we gotta get control of him. I'm gonna get rid of those crows. Hmm. I wonder, let's see. Is anyone here got like some pretty solid like strength? Intelligence is always good. Cashmere girl. Hmm. We will go with her. I suppose she's fine. Yep, no more wars. I know I'm on my deathbed. You bastards come to my court. Only I don't even got that much time left. Yes, I need some baby some more. I'm setting up all of this. My last couple of years. Hereditary rule is almost done. I tried my best son, but now it will be your turn to rule Becca and guard it from the infidels. Oh, there we go. We got a worthy successor. This dude. Uh, Bernie. Bernadin. Bernadin. All right. Sorry, folks. I, I'm like in between texting somebody about like it, it seems like I'm trying to sell somebody a game that I is not really trying to sell them, but they keep asking me questions about it. So that's why I keep looking. <laughs> um, it's a Russian Vyacheslav Konstantinov. I'm fine. We're saving up money. Even this, keep it as like nice and to be here. I'll even hold a court. Let's hold one last court session as this so, chap. As Sultan Sadiq.
Okay, I've seen the Bedouins decrease. Show some basic things off. The language of women or... Well, yeah, I'm about to die. So here, we'll do language of women. And artifact expedition, uh, exhibition. No, we're gonna pass up on that. Well, that was a furious click. Oh, there! Right after the last whole court session, they were like, "The court is over." The solstice stood up and falls over dead in front of everyone who applauds. Okay. <laughs> he, let's see. Solstice Sadiq the Second um, has abandoned this transient world and flown to heaven. Sixty-eight years of age, he died of old age. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library, rarely leaving his castle. Sultan Ali ascends uh, to the throne. Formidable duelist, many expect him to excel in personal, I mean, in tournaments and personal combat alike. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna get you the spouse, boy. Hmm. Quite a bit to choose from. Sit this up. Sit you guys up just so you can have some nice little children. Hair son, you'll be that. You could do that. Um, you suck. You suck. And this is gonna be varying shades of suck. So yeah, you can do that. Honestly, if I just shuffle you guys around, it's not that bad. Um, like for example swap you two around. I'll take a little bit of a decrease in one, but a boost in another. Sway you. Help me manage the domain. Diplomacy. Okay, he went down one of the uh, routes I wanted to, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I'll definitely go back down to steward ship. Yeah, he's gonna get married. Um, I'll raise you, girl. Uh, I definitely need a wife or such. Let's see. I'll get you. Yeah, I'm a I'm a marry like about a couple more women. And hereditary rule finishing 17 years. All right. Well, I guess we got to get to cracking. Most of you guys kind of salty. You're not even gonna be willing to ally me. And oh, one of my stepmother's. I think she tried to kill. Wait, did she? Was she trying to kill this character? No, she just rivaled. I guess I could send you off to marry him. Right now. And as my new capital is now the glorious holding of Mecca, I have taken the opportunity to go through with the rice in order to receive blessings of the Hajj. Ooh. Oh, so since I hold Mecca, this will happen by default. Like, since this is my capital, that's cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll marry you. All right, everything is. Orderly, huh? Say the least. You're not too great. But you're not bad either. You can watch over her. 
not like tripping over the discontent right now. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're 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 doing pretty good. Got a couple upstart factions, but you know, there's something I could uh like this. Oops, don't don't claim his title. <laughs> yep, this is why like like Muslim characters are so easy to control internal management because especially if you start marrying cousins or cousins, well, look at this. There, that's like basically the factions all gone instantly. Now they they're kind of pissy, but um, you know, that's gonna happen regardless. Oh my god, what is happening? Jeroen is in my council chambers once more, prattling some nonsense about how I've wronged her. Her eyes are aflame as she curses my name once again, and her choler only rises as I dismiss her anger with a scornful shake of the head. As she continues to berate me, even if I, as I snipe back, retorts in return, I catch myself considering her eyes again. No sooner have I snapped out of that small rear <laughs> that I find myself that I find my gaze drifting over to the curve of her jawline. So strikingly distended by rage, unconsciously staring, I notice how her chest heaves uninvitingly as she continues her tirade. What have I gotten myself into? Yeah, this this is this so it up with our like, <laughs> and my boy, how are you doing? All right, you're doing good. All right, time to take over Medina. I have to uh, push this. Oh, actually, hang on. Before we take over that, we're going to take over this bloop in inside of me. I can force vassalize him. He has to become my, one of my powerful. You know what? No. Um, we're going to instead do this simple county claim. right now i gotta get more prestige but this like this will make some of my uh vassals happy with me and then this lady is trying to win my heart notable guests have arrived Ooh. oh wait i can marry you too oh yes i can You're 125 gold. You're you're not that great, uh, girl. I mean, I could marry you myself. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'll I'll take you as my wife. Great. You all convert. Yes, I take you as my wife. I am a good sultan. I'm going on an adventure. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I could, you know, instead of like focusing on my damn, um, like stepmother. I could try to romance you. This will help boost my prestige a little bit. We'll probably have like a few children um, in the mix, so I'll go ahead and do that. Raise up a little bit extra, man. Hmm. There is no woman lovelier than Sultana Dev, uh, Devleka. In her presence, my words often fail me. None of my compliments ever do her justice. Perhaps a carefully crafted poem would better capture her virtues. Let's say her kind and feeling heart. She is compassionate. Yes, your love. To the reality, Sultan Ali, your love is what gives meaning to my life. I would be blessed if I could feel the embrace of your love. That I may know the depths of your love. You and I belong together. 
Yes, yes. We, should, we, we surely do. Yeah, the prize ring. Ah! That's, that's still... Um, okay. Uh... Get you two together. Um, you ignore my half brother and it's time to eat. Uh, well, I'll get a hook on you. All right, here, I'll, I'll take the hook. And he wants, let's see, he wants to expand to go over here. Sure, you can have it. And so what I can do to collaborate with the pirates. Here, yeah, I'll, I'll go for this. Let's see what this does. For years, pirates have operated from the coast of Mecca to prey on merchant vessels sailing the Indian Ocean. Yet there is uh, more to gain if we work together. After all, it is not uncommon for ordinary merchants like ones we do business with to turn to piracy to make extra coin. Lords are not heard of for pirates to offer their services to enterprising lords. But previously, such things were done in ad hoc, disorganized manner within our realm. Oh. Now we have struck a deal with local pirates in exchange for letting them establish an official base in our territory. They will raid the shores of our foes on our behalf and provide us with a share of the loot, as well as support us in our military adventure. Uh, let's see. There is no shame in associating with pirates. It is merely another tool we have in our arsenal to protect our economic and political interests in the ever dynamic and dangerous world of the Indian Ocean. So, the mosque over here gets Thieves' Hideout. Oh, well, actually, I don't think that, uh, it might pop up when we get the more, like, the extra holding, maybe, because of the, uh, I think is because of how the new building rework is, where not all things are available, it's probably why that's like that. Yeah, I, w I would assume that's the reason why. Yeah, so now, uh, we got a pirate infestation, but, here, this is all that, just help reduce that down and actually if I have a seneschal right like if I get a halfway decent seneschal it'll help like you know manage it which again I don't really mind um help out with that so it goes down by 0.5 a month this only lasts for 10 years so it's okay not like a big deal this is something I gotta kinda keep an eye on so it doesn't dip too low. I have to help out my rosebud. Alright, you guys can marry. Go ahead. Alright, waifus. I expect um children. Why are you sieging down over there? Let's go help her. If she's become my soul, they. Yes, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. She's not my soul, they. You know what? Here, I'll make you to make it more RPG like. You shall be the primary spouse now. You have moved to the ranks as a relative wandering nobody to now the Sultana who holds the Sultan Ali's heart. He was immovable until you moved his heart. See, that was beautiful poetry right there. I should write a book. Um, wait. Oh, that was my mother? No, that was another. Yeah, that wasn't my mother. Okay. I need a new court physician. I guess, uh, hmm. I guess I could do this, uh, I oh, know the court tutor, he could do that. Oh, she got pregnant. My daughter became a skilled tactician and holy warrior. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're part of House Abbasid. Brother-in-law is still cool. Um, here, I'm gonna keep tying my um house over there with um. I guess that could be a good one. Yeah, I know he's gonna call me in here. You can marry him. He's part of the famed House Abbasid. Oh, yeah, chase them. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna like rule this land. Huzzah! I'm basically bullying you just so I could give my vassal uh, some territory. I know. You had this claim, right? Yeah, so here. Grant that to you. Yes. I think I'm a... Oh, she's pregnant. I'm gonna take over Medina. Oh wait, I need to. Yeah, just let me get some more prestige. Now that I think about it, I could go on a grand tour. hit most of the solid points. And yeah, that's a little bit too expensive. Yeah, I guess I'll go over here, stop by my son's house, and um yeah, I'll just stop by the lower vassals. We're we're going to Grand Tour. I got I got the money to spend. Oh well I actually don't. I feel stupid. <laughs> Well, that, that won't take too long to get the money, right? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I, I, I could make it a smaller one. What's the fun in that? Yeah, see, like, giving me gold. Oh yeah, so the event, yeah, it, it seems like it's just gonna do that. Um, So I wasted 500 some odd gold. Oh, I could deal with the crows here. Hmm. Yeah, let me be nice to them. I remember if I'm nice to them, it kind of helps out in a sense. Ah, I'll take the gold. Thank you for doing that. Um, yeah, let's hold a grand tour. Should I do taxation? Or majesty. You know what? Let's do majesty. I do need a prestige. I could, like, let's see. If I do this, 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 and this, the total will be a lot. 53. Hell, let's just go for broke. Departing here. Stop by there. That way. Yeah, I think this was this is fine enough. So road merchants. 
Every time you enter a barony, e, there's a 9% chance you may gain a small amount of gold from a trade deal. Ooh. Yeah, I can do rubbins. What is this? Rubbins are a type of skill pilot used to traveling the Red Sea. They know what areas are hazardous and how to travel through the labyrinths of danger that the perilous coastline often is. Anyone who tries to navigate the Red Sea without them does so at their own risk. Yeah, I'll take them for six gold for security reasons that lower this danger by a lot. So this will take about a year. So let's go. Okay, let me see. I'm going to do this. Once again, I'm answering a text message, folks. <laughs> Sorry, this is so unprofessional. <laughs> So let's go. Grand tour it is. Um, continue feeding the crows. Yeah, I don't have 25, but well, this will take me a little bit to get it back. Um, after consulting with some scholars and uh, well versed in animals, I decided to try feeding the crows. I have my servants gather a few bags filled with seeds, nuts, leftover scraps of food from unfinished meals. When the crows came by one day, perched on a tree not too far away from my room, I gathered the bags and walked aside into a small patch of dirt in front of them. There I whistled to get their attention before reaching into the bag and tossing the food onto the ground. The crows and I stared at each other awkwardly before I left to let them be. A few minutes later from my room, I saw a few swoop down to eat the food. This went on for several more weeks and I've come to realize it feels nice actually. Here, I'll, I'll be nice to the crows just because I could get the money back. And since we did finish, um... Uh, bad news, we could actually set up um new night roll. Let's see, Sharif, what was your thing? Marauder. We can switch this to Reeve. Hmm. Okay, actually switch that. Bug. I mean tread game for attorney unlocks oh increases the imprisonment chance. Okay. Yeah, the iron hand. That that does is a sound like a fitting bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll definitely uh set that up. You are in debt. And a guardian for crows. Some of my courtiers must have thought I was being a lunatic, but I instructed my servants to construct a small fountain outside my residence and place near it some basins or containers that um but we would leave some seeds nuts and leftover food every day not only would we get rid of leftover food but it would be a nice way to help the crows get out of this what they want at all times some nourishment soon enough over the next few weeks i noticed more and more crows coming by this little garden i made and they'll go out sometimes to say hello and feed them personally there's some who question me but these crows seem friendly Let's let this party begin. Okay. The crows didn't stop coming after I started feeding them. If anything, I think more of them came, and there's even more to the story. The crows recognized not only myself, but the sound of my voice. <clears throat> Especially if I whistled. Yesterday, I was hosting a foreign traveler who was boring and droning on and on. I whistled out of boredom on instinct, and within minutes, an entire murder of crows appeared. The most bizarre, that bizarre thing is they didn't even seem to call for food like they usually did. They shoveled around or perched on the trees outside, and all of them glared at the traveler, who looks most uncomfortable. It was as if they I thought I wanted them to protect me. Oh, I lose piety, but um, the birdies go away, and I just get a bonus entry. Reshwana. Hey. Okay. And I'll get you to marry her just so you can have a couple wives. Son. Drink and forget. The streets hanging with tapestries, all oh, the smell of freshly cooked hair, the way Sharif shines during this time of year. 
Uh, hey, what's singing, shouting, and revelry? My lord, come celebrate with us. Prince Nizam with a welcoming smile in the square. The locals are gathered. They dance amid the pungent aroma of violet, uh, sharba, and sambusa. I'll do drink and forget. Our, like, uh, cultures, like, um, Bedouin is pretty much tied to us, so it's, yeah, it's always going to be super high. Drink and forget. Lose some stress. Huh, the lucky hit Jesse coin. Hmm. We have to choose a gift. I could sell it. This would give me bonus lifestyle experience. Uh yeah, I'll sell it. Cause it's kind of broken anyway. Oh, you want that Sultan Ali's brooch as a gift? Uh sure. You take it. I think I that's just one of those little fancy dancy things. Development over here increased by 10. Hmm. The sounds of flutes and drums is quickly accompanied by a group of dancing guests, all following the music with joyful movements and laughter. A couple sneaks away into an alley. Kids jump in a circle. A lonely old man struggles to move his hips. A turn to my spouse, Sultana Devleka. Uh, Let's see, Dev I'm gonna call her Devi. And admire her gentle smile, clapping at the rhythms of music. May I, my sweet Devi? It's time for the tribute. Yes. Figure it out. I'm coming around my whole kingdom. I'm traveling through these savage lands. Hopefully, I do not get robbed. But we <laughs> are basically like, uh, I'm selling our our dynasty. Yeah, you're you're lucky. Uh, I'm about to come over there soon and kill you. But right now, I'm just like hanging out in my court. Mm, pay me fifty gold. I could get a weak hook on you. Hey, okay, here, you know what? And arrest these traitors. Hmm. So what's this uh control over here? Yeah, it's kind of bad. But if I just uh beat the crap out of him, you get a boost of control even more. So here, beat the crap out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Farmer's pride. Hmm. Wandering the countryside of Al Hasa, I happen across what seems to be a gathering of peasants in a small hamlet, accompanied by their proud owners, plump and healthy livestock graze, looking good enough to take a bite out of right as they are. The peasants occasionally bring their goods to be judged, analyzing their size and health. They seem to be holding some sort of festival, and as soon as I'm noticed, they're eager to show me the fruits of their labor. To survey their lands. Um, this is a waste of time. Get back to your fields. Um, here we'll 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 judge their festival. Try to make this more majestic. Right now, our tour is going well. Hmm, my vassal Prince Abu Bakar um has taken me out to see his well kept pastures. Livestock galore roam these lands. These beasts produce more than we know what to do with. We're truly blessed here in Al Hajar, he says with a content smile. It appears my dear vassal has been keeping secrets the secrets of his success for me. Hmm. Bountiful harvest. Ooh. Actually, how was that? Uh is that one castle um done? Almost yeah, here. I could do this for the next 10 years. That'll help boost it up. Um, and my oh, his wife is speaking out of turn. <laughs> I'm locked in conversation with my brother about the subtle art of diplomacy and appeasement when he is interrupted by one of his courtiers. The woman is not allowed to speak for long before being silenced by her liege, but the wisdom she is able to dispense immediately proves. She knows far more about the subject than Prince Abu Bakr of Al-Assad could ever dream of knowing. Well, that's your wife. 
Um, and this is like this kind of like event is kind of weird because he's technically a courtier in his court, but at the same time, it's his wife, and it's gonna it leads to like this weird situation storyline. So we're just gonna say one should never speak out of turn and saunter off. Um, speaking of sauntering off, um, let's go down obligations. Iron Hand. I recruit this bastard. Uh, fine. Oh, it's so old. You're gonna die before anything, but eh, whatever. My daughter can marry. Yeah, there's really no uh, kings about. I guess you could go bury this Indian guy. He's out of war. He's, um, he's a duke. He will hopefully take care of you. Fare thee well, young daughter. Fare thee well. And, oh yeah, I could create Arabia now. Origin Axe. Ah, that's nice, but not right now. I'm trying to see what my um son is up to. He has two. Oh, he had twin daughter, uh, grandchildren. Oh. Stone unturner. I could pardon him, or I could send my executioner, uh, Baraka, to go chop, chop, chop. Hmm. Well, he's here. Baraka, do your thing. Uh, that's, that's there's a Mortal Kombat joke somewhere in there, but um. We're gonna leave it at that because it's too controversial. <laughs> Beware of the highway, man. Oh, yeah, let's take the safe route. Take the safe route. I don't know. Um. Oh dang. Actually, folks, um, we're at that time right now, so I I might as well end it right here because something just came up. Yeah, we're gonna end this one right here, and then we'll finish the tour next time. Okay. Uh, let's look over there. Okay, that's that's sad. The sad things are going on over in Europe. Scotland kind of stalled out. Oh, wait, no, no. He's attacking from Wessex. He's doing something. Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, we shall finish the tour and take over Medina. With that said, this is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now, this one is pure niceness.